hey everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been some time but if you want to know what went down and what happened i have posted a video i have it here linked on the icard for you for you to watch it as well um <laughs> things are gonna change around here you guys so on this video i wanted to focus on areas where i really want it to declutter get rid of stuff um it's just stuff that you know you just i don't know i feel like i'm just a low-key holder i'm always telling myself oh i'll use it sometime i'll use it later i'll use it later and i just keep piling stuff up and it's just not healthy for you and you're just taking over some space that you can actually make it useful for you and your family and I was like, today's the day that I get rid of some stuff. Even though it was hard, I donated stuff, threw away stuff that it was even broken. So I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm not ashamed to show you this. Uh, this is one of my low points where I hate to declutter um, because I am a hoarder, of course. And also, I hate to do laundry those are the things that i try to avoid the most but at the end of the day they had to get done I am so lucky to have sisters and a mom, aunties and cousins that give you clothes all the time. So I don't really have to shop for clothes and I forget that they give it to me. So I'll go ahead and go through it, get what I like and fits. And if it doesn't fit or I know I won't use, then I go ahead and donate it. Um, it's just something that I have is done. It's rare when I buy some stuff for myself. Now this box that you see here, I purchased it I believe for fifty dollars. I don't remember. Um, but it's like a bunch of clothes of like secondhand um little girls' clothes for Hazel and Zoe, and I forgot I bought it, and it was way before the whole covid 19 so i was like i was gonna fold it and i was like what am i doing i need to wash this so i went ahead and put it in the washer Of course, I'm gonna use my Method Detergent and Fabric Softener, the best. I'm also going to be trying on this video the Multipurpose Cleaner 9 Elements. Have you tried this product? I would love to know down in the comments. So far, I'm liking it. Now, in this closet, I struggle to <laughs> clean it. Like, it just have this horrible stain and I don't even know where it came from. I tried all kinds of products, uh, the rags, even my Aunt Fanny's, and I took a long break after this, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just take Clorox, put it directly to a rag, and just rub it in, and it took it off. So did this purple stain here on the floor. I let the Clorox sit, me and my kids went outside, I just let it be. And then I went with a clean rag and, you know, wipe everything off. And then I go, I went ahead and used the magic eraser and it turned out like new. I was like, 
yes i am the queen of cleaning it's official look at this so useful for all my beautiful machines and all my cleaning products you know has a space yeah i already did the room you guys i'm so sorry um i told you guys that i got sick uh so at that point so at some point i had the i thought i had the covid 19 but that was not the case like i'm telling you you should watch that video um so my husband ended up putting the bed for me and it looks a lot better and it's more comfortable i'm so short so it's very convenient to be honest with you and i know i'm talking too much but can you blame me it's been two weeks and i have not uploaded a video so i miss you talking to you guys so much so i went ahead and put some um more plants in the room not too many because i don't want them to take the oxygen away from us but eventually i take them out because my room does not get a lot of light so i had to be switching them out i just love plants what can i say um yeah and i was supposed to do this whole video with my room and it just didn't happen because i was just so sick you guys it was it was crazy now i'm gonna shut up so you can actually watch the video <laughs> Such a difference this is where i keep uh denzel's clothes my toddler and eventually i want to change the cubes out uh, for a different color i want everything to match in my room i will appreciate that very much um so this carpet right here rug that i have is very very light and so so soft and since I feel like the machine, uh, the vacuum is just too strong that it sucks it up. So I had to like do the middle first, go all the way, turn it off, turn it back on. It's just a hot mess, but I like the results. Now, I never got to touch the clothes that it was in here because I assumed that it was the clothes that my mom gave me, but I was totally wrong. It was just clothes that Preston <laughs> collected for me and it was all dirty. Yes, I am that person that sometimes I still leave my clothes out there or sometimes even if the baskets are full, he go, goes ahead and put it in a bag. So. I was like, yep, gotta wash this too. And I feel like I am 
doing so well with cleaning as like keeping up with it um it's just it's, it's such a relief such a stress reliever for me um before i forget here uh i used the magic eraser and this is the clothes i was talking about now if you want to know the vacuum i have used for my room the steam mop uh if you want to know what my carpet vacuum cleaner is the name everything i will put it in the description for you i don't want to keep on saying and mentioning the names um but yeah it's going to be in the description box for you for sure I wasn't going to film this because like I don't know but then I I'm so glad I did because I know a lot of you guys will appreciate this motivation my husband actually told me come on just help me out because I told you guys that, that you know this past weekend he has been cleaning for me and he noticed there was a lot of trash under the couch and I feel I know I know the reason because Okay, Denzel, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that Denzel is always vacuuming, always. So I feel like he pushes the stuff under the couch without him noticing. But then, I mean, I'm pretty sure they get messy. They, they are messy too, you know, they're kids. So I was so glad to just deep clean everything in the living room for sure.
I cannot have enough of this machine. A lot of you guys told me that it has been sold out, probably because of me, so I'm sorry about that. But it is just the best carpet cleaner. Now, it is for pets and, you know, just carpet, but I use it for everything and anything. Now, I don't suggest you do that unless you just, you know, willing to take the risk of messing up something but i'm always that person that does that <laughs> and the um product that i'm using to to clean the carpet and the couch is actually for a spot removing it's not actually for a machine so please don't do that i do that i do this because i just want to get a try and i love the results now i use a little bit of it because as you can see it has so much effect to it that I don't really have to use a lot. So I want to do a shout out to Marcel Lopez. She told me to try the Zep. Uh, it's at uh, Home Depot. And it's like for high traffic spot remover for like carpet cleaning. So I owe that to her because my carpet, even though I shampoo it one time, like once a week, he keeps it clean it's just it's amazing i love it mm, beautiful so as you can see my husband started to be you know helping me started to help me and he was doing a lot he was so excited to do the video with me you guys so he is the best we had a lot of fun actually cleaning too As he is finishing with the rest of the couch, I went ahead and you and start cleaning the TV center where the TV is at. Focusing on the glass, I like to see the reflection. Is something about it that I just have to have that effect. Now, since these pillows are so, so cheap, I wash one by one in the washer once a month. 
other than that every time i vacuum shampoo my carpet i'll go ahead and clean it because you can tell the huge dif difference you guys like that's how i keep up with it with the zip um spot remover or whatever it's called it is amazing like you can just tell the huge difference i let the water sit in and then i went ahead and take everything out look at this wow mm. tell me that's not satisfying because like because of that line i'm like you are a rat and die from now on now these ones are really easy to keep clean because they're meant to be outside and outdoor furniture stuff but i use it for inside because it just matches my house you know Now this is my trick when it comes to deep cleaning the carpet. I go ahead and wet the whole carpet first, whatever solution, and let it sit in for at least 15 to 20 minutes so the product can do the work for me and I just have to go over it one last time. So I don't have to go, you know, keep on going back and forth. So I just, I cannot recommend this product enough they have all kinds of different ones from the same brand i just found this one and it was like eight dollars so i was like yes ma'am i'm taking this and while i let it sit i went ahead and clean my ornament where i keep my shoes just to make sure like everything is working together and yes yes probably you don't have to clean it like this but you guys are here because you like how i clean and <laughs> this is how i clean and i do take risks a lot I, like right here i was like oh man i should have done this and then i was like you know what yeah like look at this it looks brand new again and i did struggle with some spots you know kids <laughs> went ahead and used the dish soap from nine elements and then this toothbrush from dollar tree where it came with a three-piece set i end up using the silver one to clean it because it turns out it was nail polish so i had to put a little bit of acetone after i was done scrubbing all this and i took it off right away with the vacuum cleaning machine and you guys I'm telling you, I am the queen of cleaning. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm bragging too much, but like, wow, I, I I am I'm so I surprise myself a lot of times, you know, because I'm like I had to take this off and I'm not gonna move from here until it's clean. Like I'm always talking to myself in my head. Am I the only one? beautiful so right here it's been about 25 minutes to be honest with you i went ahead and started day cleaning the carpet and after i was done cleaning it i went ahead and still almost like vacuum it just for it to dry faster like i just went over and over and over to suck up the water up most of the times i don't show this in the video but i do that and i take my time with it not only because the vacuum sound is soothing for me but because it just helps to dry faster you know and since i want it to dry overnight for sure like once i wake up it's completely dry because you know the kids they can get dirty once again you know faster because it's wet once i do this in the morning it's like completely dry
people keep asking me in the comments where did i get my carpet i got it at big lost and it was like on sale for 80 dollars and it's huge i love it now this is my vacuum cleaner it's a dual power max carpet washer you can tell here i put a lot of the product i went over an ounce i just usually put an ounce in like the little cap that it comes with the vacuum cleaner you don't want to put more than that because then it causes a lot of a lot of like a soapy type of water and it's just not good for your machine i just went overboard <laughs> it happens so that was the product and then this is the third time i had to rinse the steam mop um what's it called the mop head <laughs> I went ahead and vacuumed out the dirt from where my plants are at and then I went ahead and moved it and vacuumed the rest of the stuff. I know it may seem that this video didn't take long, but trust me, it did. It took a long time <laughs> because I've been taking a lot of breaks lately, not only for my kids, but for myself. Um, because like, if I'm not going to do a good job on cleaning, then I'd rather not post a video. And I think this was a great motivation for you to just get things done around your house. Trust me, you can do it. If I did it, you can do it as well. as always guys i love you so much thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for everyone who congratulate me for my pregnancy i appreciate you so much we are very happy and excited um we are gonna start blogging again in our uh, blogging channel um there's gonna be a lot of changes hopefully for the good all i can say god bless my supporters and the haters um i appreciate your time and make sure you check out the description box if you are uh, if you are interested of any of these products i see you and catch you on my next one bye guys Thank you.